Hey guys, this is Exam Help, and I'm going to go through uh, domain and range. Um, I'm going to explain what domain and range is. I'm going to go through a few examples um, of what this is. So this applies to functions. Um, so, so let's say we have a function f of x. So I'll write that down for you. We got a uh, f of x is our function. And f of x can be equal to anything. It's usually f of x because f stands for function. Um, but like I said, the f uh, it can be replaced by anything. So our function, uh, so we have its rules. So it's defining rules. So that can be equal to anything. So we'll put 2x minus 3 here. And then we have a domain. So the domain is any value that the x can take. So domain is any sorry, any value of x. So any value x can take. So and then we also have a range. So the range is let's say if we have our um, if we have our x, and then we go to our function box here, f of x, and then bring out y. So that's not going to be f of x. That's just going to be f in there. Let's do that again. In there is going to be f, and then it comes out with our y. Or that can also be called f of x. Um, so the output, that is our range, so the output, and that can be f of x, which is also equal to y. So that is what uh, domain and range are. So we can have, uh, we can have whatever domain we want. So let's think of a standard, we'll, we'll keep our uh, f of x is 2x minus 3. It can help to solve this graphically, so what I'll, what I'll draw is a quick graph. I'll make it a bit slower. Okay, so a graph of 2x minus 3, it'll cross at the, it'll cross at minus 3, Minus three there. Um, I just put, I'll do a cross there and minus three, and then it's going to have a gradient of two, so it's going to be going up like that, probably. So, what does this show? So, we can see that our domain is really anything. Because in the x direction, the x direction is this way and this way. So you can see this continuous line, so it'll go on and on and on and on and on and on in both directions. Um, which means that the, uh, the domain is going to be any value, really. So we're going to give this any real number. So we might have seen from... To start of core one, that real numbers is that. Okay, so we say that our domain x is in the subset of real numbers. So what about our uh, range now? So we can also see that in the y direction, which is the uh, range, we can see that it goes on and on and on in both directions, which means that again, y, or f of x, the range is also in a subset of real numbers. So sometimes we can actually uh, define the domain by giving it a uh, interval of values. So let's let's have a look at this. So we're going to keep our f of x here, but I'm going to include this one thing. I'm going to say from minus one, x has to be more than or equal to minus one or less than or equal to 1. So we'll do this in the graph again. I'm going to put minus 1 here. I'll 
to expand that out a bit more. Do a dot here, minus one and one here. So what what we're gonna have here? Well, we know it's gonna cross at minus three. That's a given. So if we put minus one into here, into uh, this, into our uh, function here, two, two times by minus one is minus two, and then minus three, that's minus five. So we're gonna have minus five, so one minus five down here. It's not the scale, but you know. So one minus five down here. And then if we put if we put say uh one into here, gonna get two times by one, which is two minus three, which is minus one. So we're gonna get minus one here. So what is this line gonna look like? It's gonna look like that. In essence. Um, so what does this mean? Well, we know our domain is any value of that. It's gonna because any value of x can either be between one minus one and one. So therefore, our domain is this. So domain, I'll just write D for that, is that. It's just our given values. So range we can see. That between uh, between minus one and one, this is minus one minus five. This is one minus one. So therefore, our range is going to be minus five. It's going to be greater than or equal to minus five, or less than or equal to minus one. So our uh, Range is equal to minus 5, more than or equal to f of x, or less than or equal to minus 1. So it's going to be between minus 5 and minus 1. So that's a uh, simple example of that. So I'm going to move on to a, a bit trickier example. To say we had a function g of x is equal to x squared. This is a simple, simple function. g of x is equal to x squared. So what does this mean? Well, we have our axes and our x squared graph is going to touch, it's going to touch the origin, draw it again then, touch the origin there, 0, 0, uh, quite badly drawn. But we can see, weirdly, which is different to the uh, original one, is that there is no values of y which are below this. So there's no values of y below zero. So we've already got a different answer. So what can we put for domain? It's going to be, because it goes out that way and goes out that way, our domain is going to be, again, any real numbers. So x, x is also the subset of any real numbers. Okay. So our range, it doesn't go below zero, so it's going to be not negative. It's not going to be negative at all. But it can be equal to zero. So what we're going to say is g of x, our function, is going to be more than, but it can also be equal to zero, which is different to our original, uh, the one before. So we could actually also, let's rub this off, we could say, you know what, we'll have x between uh, minus one is going to be greater than or equal to that, but it can also be greater than or uh, less than or equal to two. So we're going to go have, have minus one here, and then we're going to have two there. 
So here, draw that across, uh, 2, 2 squared, put that into there, that's going to be equal to 4, and then minus 1 squared, that is going to go to here, which is going to be 1. 1. So what does this equal? Right, so I'm going to say our domain, as we had before, domain is going to be this uh, set of values we have here. So that's our domain. Our range, see that's, that's for there, that's one here, but it also goes down to zero. So our, uh, our range, sorry, is going to be uh, between zero and four. So what, how we're going to write that is it's going to be more than uh, g of x. It's going to be more than zero or equal to zero, but it's going to be less than or equal to four. So we've got our domain here and our range here. So let's do another example. But this time we're going to do a, uh, a, let's say, we're going to do a slightly harder one. So I'll give h of x, that's our function, is the square root of x. So this graph, let's draw that very quickly. This graph, square root of 0, 0. You can't square root a negative number, so it's not going to go that way. So it's just going to go like that, because if you have 1, 1, then it's going to go to 4, 2, 9, 3. So it's going to go, it's going to go slower and slower, so the, the slope's going to get less steep, basically. So this is our square root of x graph. So our domain, it can't be any values on this side of the y-axis. So it's going to be any value more than or equal to zero. So our domain this time is going to be any x value more than or equal to zero. And that's actually going to be the same with our range. h of x is going to be more than or equal to zero. And this is because, as we can see, it's, there's no values on this side. So it's either zero or more than that. So, here is our domain and here is our range. Very simple. So, as you can see, I've done these graphs and it just makes it a lot easier to determine uh, the range and the uh, stuff like that and the domain. Just make, It makes it a lot easier to see that visually than it did with uh, any other things. So, that was exam help and I hope... That helped, um, and that was exam help with domain and range. Thank you for watching. If you need any questions, just I'll answer. I'll try and answer them in the uh, comment section below. Thank you very much. Made with DoodleCast Pro.